Good afternoon, this is Simon Browning from See Through Web, and this is the second video in the demonstrations regarding Temple of Voila. Uh, what we just did in the previous video was bring this design into Type 03 using Temple of Voila and uh, map in the main content area, the main menu, and uh, a submenu actually. And we saw that uh, the wizard created a series of sub pages for us. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, one of the things that we did notice is the um, there's a little bit of CSS work that needs to be done. This the headline change color versus what was in the original uh, template. Here's the original template. The headline change color. There's a few little differences. So I've made a couple of little style uh, CSS style changes to adjust it. And to do that, I actually did it right through the back end of Typo three. Uh, I could have done it through Dreamweaver or whatever uh, web program I would normally use, but uh, because I'm just here, I just went to File List and found the CSS file and made some changes and I saved them and. Uh, uh, not that one. Where did they go? Here they are over here. Um, if I refresh this now, there we go. Our headline's better. We got some spacing in the menu and stuff. So uh, let's go back here again for a second. So Temple of Ola, what it had done for us was created all these uh, sample pages in our page tree. What I want to do next is map this left content area because right now this is just coming straight out of the template but I might want to use it as a text area you know they've designed it here to be used as a news module area and I could do that as well but I need to make it accessible through typo 3 first so I'm gonna go back to the back end I'm gonna go back to Temple of voila and this time I'm not gonna use the wizard because that's just for creating a new uh, site I'm going to just click on my storage folder here and it's going to see that I have one page template. I'm going to click the update mapping button or link and then I'm going to go to the information tab and click on modify DSTO. DS stands for data structure, TO is template object. So I want to make a modification to it. I want to add a new field. We'll call it uh, left content. Click the add button. I have some details I need to enter so we're going to give it a title. This is the title of the user is going to see. We'll call it left content area. area. Uh, I don't need to fill these in. I'm going to skip them for now. You can read about them later if you'd like to. And I'm going to make it. It's in here that we can select what it's going to be. It could be strictly an input field. It could be strictly an image field. I want it to be an area for page content elements, meaning that the users, the clients, the administrators will be able to select what's going to go in there. I'm going to click the add button. It's going to ask me to map it and so I'm going to do that and I am going to map it to the uh, that left area which I think is called left panel there it is right there so I'm just going to click right and map it to that div there and I am going to set next I need to save as and I'm just going to write it over the template we've already created update and OK. Clear my cache to be safe. I probably do that too much, but it never hurts. Click on this page again in a page view. Page view. There we go. And now you can see we have a, a content area called left content area. And if I click into it, Actually, before I create anything, let's go back and look at the front end for a second. This should now disappear because we've now mapped it out. I'm going to hit my refresh button, and there it goes. It's gone. So let's go back here again. Oh, did it pop up? Yeah, it's gone. Go back here, and I'm going to put a regular text element in that left content area. Give it a headline some text save and close go and look at the front end and there we go we now have some left stuff in there we as opposed to putting in some text we could have plugged in a module maybe we plugged in the, the TT news latest news module for instance so there we go that concludes this demonstration